Hello friends, welcome to Civil 3D Pro Tips and Tricks channel. Today I will show you how you can calculate land acquisition areas using the parcel tool. So this is my corridor. I am having a 3.5 meter lane width on both sides. And these are my earthworks. So you can see at some of the locations I am encroaching some plots. And I want to calculate how much area I need for this proposal so how can I do that so for that first step is I have to create all this objects into parcel so how I will do that so first select all the objects and you can see some of the objects are not uh, close so first thing I will do is go to the properties and in the last I will select close option here yes. so now the objects are closed so the next step is I will create parcel from this objects I will give style as a property and in the area label style I will choose number only because wide for this area I don't want uh, uh, areas and uh, yeah, I will keep default settings and I will click OK. So you can see this areas are converted into parcels. Now if I want to see the areas I can change the labels. From number only to suppose if I select name area and perimeter. So it will give me property 1, area is this much and this is perimeter. If I want uh, any other parameters, I can do that, do that with the label styles. Now the next thing is, I want, I don't need the entire area. I need the area which is coming in my road proposal. So for that, uh, the ideal way is I have to create one line here and I have to add that line in this site. So it will distribute this entire property in two parts. So how I will do that? So I will select my corridor and from the launch pad, I will extract my polylines. I will do it for both the sides. So these are my polylines. So the next step is, uh, I will again select the parcel and I will select these two lines. I will right click it. Now in this one, uh, I will give the similar style, name, area and perimeter. And I will click OK. There will be some overlap. So you can see there are additional labels, additional plots are generated. So You can see property 1 is divided in two parts, property 1 and property 7. So this is property 7 area and this is property 1 area. So I can change the dimension styles. I want area in square meters or square kilometers. I can modify all that from the label styles. Similar way you can see here, two properties are there, 2 and 12. For this I have not changed the style. So it is showing the name only. So there is another property that is created 12 number. So this way, this will help you to get the exact uh, land acquisition area. You can see for, see for the entire area, it has been done like that. So you can easily take out the report of this parcels and you can easily say this much area is required for uh, executing this proposal similar way if you want to provide a retaining wall here then you can extract the polyline from root edge and then you can calculate the area and you can show that if we provide retaining wall here this much area is required and if we not provide retaining wall then this much area is required so this way you can use parcel for identifying land acquisition 
thank you thank you very much for watching this video and you can subscribe the channel for more videos thank you